Bob, thanks for sitting down with us today. Uh, you had a chance to coach Staubach against the Fire on Sunday. What were your impressions from that game? Uh, it's preseason, I think, for both teams. Uh, you can see that uh, there's still work to be done. Uh, but for this time of year, I think it uh, had stretches where the match was uh, at a pretty decent quality. Uh, Fire obviously bringing some different players into to their team, and that normally takes a little bit of time. One of the guys that was not on the field for that game, but you're pretty familiar with, is Michael Stevens. What can you tell us about him as a person and a player? I've known Mike a long time. It goes back to Chicago soccer's days when uh, my kids all played for the soccer's and Mike and his brothers played for the soccer. So I think I've seen him running around the field since he's probably 10 years old. Um, but for us last year, Mike was, uh, was a real plus. He, he's a competitor. He comes every day excited for training. Uh, he's always got good energy on the field. So um, he made a really good contribution to our team. And I think he can do the same thing for the fire this year. And I know how excited he is to have the chance to play professional soccer back in uh, his home city. Another guy you're familiar with is Clint Mathis. Uh, now he's coaching before you saw him as a player. What do you remember about him on the field? Early on, uh, when I saw him the first few times, uh, immediately you could see the talent that he had and capable of doing some, some really special things. Uh, a guy who could score different kind of goals, both feet, um, something special. And as I got to work with him a little bit, I also just enjoyed getting to know Clint. He's uh, an interesting guy. He's got a very good understanding of the game. And uh, I think as a player, he, he sometimes didn't get credit for that part of it. But I think now that he's coaching, he has a chance to uh, work with players and, and give some advice in ways that uh, you know, he understood as a player. So I think that part fits in in any team. Have you had a chance to catch up with Clint? Yeah, a little bit in the lobby. I've had a chance to, to catch up with a lot of different guys. Uh, there's not much left over. Um, I think probably Ron Stern might be the, the single one that uh, was there at the beginning and is still standing. But nonetheless, uh, for so many of the other guys, we, we, we know each other from different situations along the way. And one of the nice parts of uh, being back for a tournament like this in Portland is just having a chance to catch up with different people. One of those people is Frank Yallop. Uh, how well do you know Frank from over the years? Uh, not great, but certainly enough to, to talk a little bit and, and uh, kind of catch up and find out what's going on uh, uh, in different situations. But Frank uh, uh, is not someone that I know well, but I, I certainly have a lot of respect for what he's done with different teams. He's always been someone who understood how to work with uh, different kinds of players, how to manage situations. Uh, he brings experience and obviously uh, he brings the winning part, which I think all organizations are looking for.